the best thing I've done in 2023 was firing German boyfriend. 2023 was a crazy year for me. A lot of things had happened in my life. For instance, I blew up on YouTube and here we are. Also, I feel like this year I have learned and grew a lot. And as an immigrant in Germany, I also see some improvement on how I adapting to the German life. It was a significant year and it deserved a recap. And that's why in this video, I'm gonna go through some of my highlights of the year with you guys, what I've learned and also what I've done to immigrate myself into Germany so far. I came to Germany for studying and after four very long years, I finally graduated in September this year. I can't even talk about this without smiling because it was a very big thing for me. When I first came to Germany, I thought that there is no way I could manage to graduate because I was studying in a different language, which I understood, but I cannot keep up with the lecture. Everything was new and different and I didn't even know how to write a proper essay in English. I still remember that feeling of sitting alone in the library, asking myself, what the hell am I doing here? Being away from my family, leaving everything behind to move to this foreign country to do a degree that I clearly not smart enough to do. It was very devastating. But the thing is, I kept grinding and after some months, it get better. And this year, I got a degree in my hand. Before submitting my thesis, I was under a lot of stress. There was this rock on my chest telling me things like, this has been your biggest life goal for four years. If you fail last minute now, what are you gonna do with your life? I thought once I accomplish a life goal that I worked so long and hard for, all of my life problems would just go away, which didn't happen. And I was pretty disappointed seeing myself stressing over other stuff, which is not study related after that. I'm an overthinker. Everything stressed me out. I'm constantly worried about the future. But now I'm trying to be a bit more chill, which is hard because that's not who I am. But at the same time, it's quite easy because I live with the chillest person in the world. German boyfriend has mastered the art of living a happy life. This man needs nothing to be happy. You throw him into the forest and he's being happy with the birds. Like it's incredible. So here's what I learned from this experience. Life is a constant battle. You cannot just wait until you have a win in the future to be happy because after that win, there will be something else to be worried about. But what you can change is your attitude toward everyday life. My mom is a farmer and she's kind of a traditional Vietnamese mom too. And also I know that deep inside, she wished all of her daughter to be successful and go on to do great things. She has trouble communicate that with us. When I told her that after finishing studying in Germany, I wanted to find a job that fit my major over here, she told me that maybe I should be more realistic and became a nail tech instead. Cause she heard that there was a lot of Vietnamese that making good money in Germany as a nail tech, which is true. And also like, I'm just a Vietnamese who is not very smart. Even if I have a degree, how could I compete with all of the German students and also international students who are 10 times better than me? That hurts a lot. First of all, I'm the clumsiest person on earth and I don't know how to do nails. So became a nail tech is a very wrong career choice. Second of all, I just, sometimes wish to hear some encouragement words from parents too. Just like German parents tell their kids like, I believe in you, just do whatever you want and you will be success because you have the potentials. Things like that. Like sometimes I just wish to hear something like that from my parents too. To her surprise, I did not become a nail tech and I went on to build my career in Germany as a content creator. I mean to talk about how I became a TikToker during the pandemic and then Instagrammer and then YouTuber, it's gonna take another video. So in this video, I just want to focus on the biggest thing that happened in 2023, that my YouTube channel gained like 1.6 million followers. <laughs> Honestly, I was always afraid of YouTube. I feel like this place is not for amateur. It's mostly for professional who knows how to like using a big 
camera and like editing and then audio things like that it's not for me who just filming video with my phone and make short content that is why i was very reluctant to have my own youtube channel i only started to like really being serious on it when i noticed that a lot of my fellow content creator was blowing up on youtube just because of their shots and i just don't want to miss the train so i joined and i started posting video but i really did not expect anything from it fast forward until today i can safely say that that YouTube is my favorite platform ever. And the main reason is because of you guys. I have the most awesome community ever on YouTube. My comment section is basically no hate, just vibe. And I receive such a lot of support and love from you guys and I'm very grateful for that. Also, being a YouTuber is way more financially secure. Those are the reason why this year I was heavily focusing on YouTube and that taught me one or two things as well. When I make short videos, I do everything by myself from ideas to filming, editing, posting. So when I started to do long YouTube videos, I told myself that I could do it too. So I did everything by myself, one short video per day, and I try to have one long video every week, which is a crazy schedule. And very quickly, I was completely burned out. And the saddest part is that I didn't have enough time to make good shots video up to my standard anymore you know how much i enjoy making shots video but i was just spending 10 hours per day editing my long video after that i agreed to get a video editor for my long form youtube video and uh, it's been i think four or five months now <laughs> i cannot live without my editor anymore <laughs> It was hard at first to trust someone and let go of the control that I had for so many years. But uh, there was a saying, you can walk this distance alone, but you can walk way longer with a team. And I understand it now. With my editor spending time doing things that I'm not very good at, editing videos, I have more time to focusing on the things that I'm good at, like coming up with idea and filming the video. The best thing I've done in 2023 was firing German boyfriend. I'm not joking about it. Since I became a content creator in Germany, my boyfriend had helped me a lot with administrative work, taxes, dealing with the government. And the moment I started making money, the man get compensated very well. So don't worry for him. The thing is, since my channel grew and grew, it's very hard for him to have a full-time job and then go home and needing to like help me with the paper stuff as well. He never complains about that because he wanted to help me. But I feel like in the long term, it's better to keep our jobs separately with our happy private life. So I I release him from the misery and find someone to do all of those tasks and now he's just being a happy little clam and show up on my videos when he wanted to i just want to end this part with a bit of highlight for my youtube channel because you guys made it happen and i'm grateful for it and i want to celebrate that with you guys in this year alone my channel has 1.94 billion views billion <laughs> Nice. It is an insane number and most of the views are from the short so I didn't make that much money but still I'm super happy about it. 15.4 million hours of watch time and 127 million likes. Thank you very much. Here I have a question for you. Do you know what is the most viewed video on my channel this year? I'm not talking about the long one, the short video. Let me know under the comment section and I will answer it at the end of the video. We've been traveling a lot this year. You know, that's the perk of living in Germany because you can just go to other European country without a visa. I have a very weak passport, so I love, love that. This year, we've been to Czech Republic, Spain, Switzerland, Laos, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand. My favorite country that I visited this year was Thailand, always Thailand, best food, endless entertainment. I'm always happy when I was there. I wanted to move there one day. Spain is a very close second place. This year we went to Tenerife. It's like an island in the Canary area. It was super sunny, well organized, beautiful, and the food is very good. My least favorite trip was in Bali, Indonesia. Before coming there, I was watching a lot of like Instagram videos about Bali. And in my head, I thought of Bali as this like heaven on earth. It was the Instagrammer fault. They make it too glamorized. 
is the thing with Bali is that it's very very crowded so it takes forever to go anywhere and also the food was not my taste as well it was my first time in Bali but German boyfriend went there seven years ago and he loved the place so when he came back this year and everything changed he was really really sad and it's sad to see German boyfriend sad too so that's why I didn't like the trip so much Next year, I have a very ambitious traveling plan, which probably not gonna happen, but hey, a girl can dream. I wanted to go to um, Japan and Korea because I heard that the food over there is awesome. And for me, traveling is all about the food, so I really want to go there. I also want to go to Australia because I have a family member who lives there now. And German boyfriend just love to see all of those Australian animals, so that would be fun. I also want to go to London for a business trip. But the thing with all of those places that I just mentioned is that I have to apply for a visa because I have a Vietnamese passport. And I checked all of those requirements and it's like a lot of work. A lot of work. So I'm not really sure how committed I am with the plan. Next year, I also want to travel around Germany because I have the Deutschland ticket, 49 euros per month, and I can travel with every regional train around Germany. It's very very cool and also some other European country as well and I'm very excited for the plane Okay, now let's talk about the progress of me immigrating into Germany in 2023 Let's go over the first criteria How many friends do I make in Germany this year? I actually track them in an app because I am desperate for making new friends I have went to seven first dates this year to try to make new friendship with people. Out of those seven first dates, uh, two of them agreed to have a second date. And out of those two second dates, I am now building up a new friendship with these two people. And I think that's a win this year. It's hard out there to make friends. Once you reach a certain age and you live in foreign countries and especially Germany as well, it's difficult. So I'm pretty proud of myself for putting myself out there to like meeting new people this year. I am happy to report to you that this year has witnessed one of my best, uh, what is it called? Uh, progress in uh, learning German since I graduated and I had a lot of free time. I have more time to like learn German at home online and it actually helped a lot. And now I'm doing intensive German, which I wish I did way earlier. If you want to learn German, please like sign up for an intensive class or at least like uh, doing German like intensively every single day for hours. It's the best way to help you learn. And now to put what I learned into practice and to flex a little bit, I would like to speak some German with you guys. Hello Leute, heute ist der letzte Tag von Item. Item, ja. Wenn ihr das seht, ist schon neues Jahr 2024. Deshalb musste ich euch sagen, feuers neues Jahr. Yeah! Okay, next thing on the list is did I learn anything from the Germans this year? And my answer is definitely yes. I've seen some changes in myself this year and it's definitely because of moving to Germany and living among Germans. The first thing is that I am more punctual. Luckily, because I was always late to everything in Vietnam. Now, like I'm not like a 100% punctual like a German, but I definitely being more on time. The second thing is that I am more direct now. I'm not afraid of telling people what I feel anymore. And the good thing is that now I am more connected to my feeling and I'm able to express that. It definitely helped me to communicate better with people over here, but at the same time, it confused the heck out of my family at the beginning. My mom was having a hard time adjusting to the new me because sometimes when I talk to her, I just say things out of pocket. And she was like, how dare you even say things like that? Keep it into your head, why did you even say it? And I just tell her like, because that's how I feel and that's what I thought. Also, on the other hand, it definitely helped me to improve the relationship with my family. For example, now when my sisters do things that I don't like, normally I would just suck it up because I'm a little sister and I'm not allowed to talk back to them. But now I just told her like, hey, I don't like what you did. And she was like, I am so sorry I made you feel that way. I will change. I was shocked to death. I was like, damn. 
you are able to change too and it's that easy to resolve conflicts you just need to talk to people <laughs> when i first came here every time german boyfriend brought me to a public space he's always tell me to be quiet because according to him i was just screaming and then he have to tell me like city be mindful of other people do not be so loud in a train or like i don't know in a park but i didn't know that i was loud because for me i was just talking normally this is my normal volume but now that i know that i should be more quiet when i talk in public and when i'm home i could be as loud as i want as long as his ear can stand that one more thing that i noticed is that i am so obsessed with rules and regulations now and not because i love them it's just because i'm so afraid of like accidentally violating them i think it's a good thing to maintain a order society but at the same time you know being a vietnamese and see how vietnamese doing things and business there is not much order into it but there's a lot of flexibility and from flexibility you came up with a lot of quick creative solutions this year i also see a very big improvement of me using german public transport if you don't know German public transport is actually very complicated to use, especially when you want to buy a ticket to go somewhere. You know what happened this year? Germany have launched the Deutschland ticket that I just mentioned earlier. Now with my ticket, I pay 49 euros and I don't need to buy any tickets anymore. I just go to any tram and buses from all over the country. And I don't need to worry about getting caught and pay 60 euros because I bought a wrong ticket or something. That was the best thing ever. And I count it as a very, very big improvement this year. I think the biggest thing that I've learned from the Germans this year was being more efficient. I don't think I was very efficient before. I tend to overcomplicate the thing and also overthinking it. Since living among the Germans, I have learned from them to be more straightforward, more efficient, so you can go from A to B more quickly. For example, when I buy clothes now, I only buy the one that is comfortable, fit a lot of occasion, easy to wash and maintain, so that is safe me a lot of time when cooking i try to find a way to cook as few as possible but still have enough of nutrients even when making video i don't spend 10 hours making a 15 second videos anymore everything have to be quicker more efficient so i have more time to enjoy my life <laughs> When I was a student, I wasn't really sure if this thing's gonna work out, if I can stay in Germany for a long time. But after I graduate and then I have a career over here, I realized that Germany is gonna be my permanent place. Plus I have a fiance now. <laughs> now that I decided that I will properly spend the rest of my life in Germany, it hit me very hard that I will probably not spend that much time with my family. I mean, it's something that I have to deal with for the last four years already, but now that it came to become kind of permanent, it's really a bit scary to deal with. Since I know now that I would spend a long time in Germany, I have to be very serious to consider all of my options to be alive here. How many friends do I have? Uh, would I have enough money to buy a house one day? What is my retirement plan? Which city do I want to live in? And most importantly, would I integrate into Germany well enough so that I can be accepted to the social circle? Anyway, enough about 2023. Let's talk about 2024. What is my plan for the next year? Career-wise, I have decided to spend this year to become a full-time content creator. I'll try to make more long-form YouTube video as well as maintain the short-form video as usual. And we have a lot of like content plan coming up, so I am excited for the next year. I also have a resolution for myself this year. I want to find a hobby this year and stick with it. I feel like last year I was just uh, spending a lot of time on my phone, scrolling, finding ideas, making videos, which is okay because like I make money out of it, it's my job. But at the same time, I feel like it destroyed my mental health a little bit. Uh, so this year I wanted to find something else to do out of the internet world. I have tried coaching. It's been the fourth day. I'm very, very in love with it. I just really hope that I will not get sick of it soon. Relationship-wise, not much. I hope me and German boyfriend just stay the same. <laughs> we were happy together the last year. Next year, I hope we are happy together as well. <laughs> Basically, that's it. Not very ambitious, but if I can achieve all of that, that would be okay for me. Hello, I almost forgot to answer the trivia that I gave you guys earlier. So here it is. The most viewed video on my channel in 2023 was 
this video it's a comedy sketch about why i never show german boyfriend face and actually it's one of my favorite videos that i ever made so far as well it's very creative funny one of my best work so far and me and german boyfriend had a tons of fun filming it and it has 20 million views so that's insane and basically that's it this is the end of the video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye <laughs>